Mike Stevens is here to finish out the week with a visit to the PhotoLink library. He thought he ought to get his subjects before they got away. One thing for sure that makes summer special is the variety of pictures that are out there for the taking. Cynthia Roth of Catawissa caught a sunrise. The sun helps along a namesake flower as it grows and grows, but takes the time to pose for a picture with Therese Sinkovich of Scranton. After sundown, there's an opportunity for a friendly gathering with a good fire going. Tracy Liverock of Tafton had a little get together. Sherry Eastwood of Tonkanic with a pretty flower that will soon be gone. Autumn is knocking at our door. Walt Zera of Laughlin writes, this fine little fellow will soon turn into a hummingbird moth. It seems subjects for pictures are popping up all over. Rebecca Magnarelli of Jessup caught a poser at Music Mountain Preserve. Sometimes they even fly in, not wanting to miss their moment of fame, I suppose. This is a Richard Leibert image from Eagle's Mirror. Others take a more playful attitude. Mary Gabriel of Tonkanic sent proof. A bit of a show off here. Darian Engel of Lewisburg caught a heron on liftoff while kayak paddling around at the Montour Preserve. Others prefer to wait and watch and see what happens. Emily Hyde of Tonkanic found one wise observer in Mishapa. Another on the lookout, Amber Jones of Wilkesbury sent its portrait. Another became impatient. It was a moment captured by Richard Beaver of Lewisburg. Eagles spending a day doing this and that along the Susquehanna from Steve Brown of Sayre. Sometimes a friend will drop by and you both get out for something to eat like these two. A woodpecker and a flicker enjoying the hospitality of Barbara Lewis's East Stroudsburg backyard. Remember it's summer so see it save it, send it on in, because as with this Gretchen Batchinger image from Sunbury, we all know what lies ahead. I'm Mike Stevens in the PhotoLink Library.